Joining us tonight on Fan TV after that 5-2 victory against the Invicta Dynamos, I've got uh, alternate captain Will Weldon and Ed Nags. Uh, Will, a, a hard-fought victory, much deserved in the end, I guess, but they made us work. Yeah, definitely. 2-0 down. We obviously had a bit of work to do. Um, it was a battle tonight, and I think that's probably one of the most competitive games we've we've got into this year. We, we had to work for, for everything we got, and in the end, you know, the depth probably shone through and you know it was, it was good fun to play in and it was good to get the win some uh, old faces you're pretty familiar with with uh, mason and uh, damien who had a, a great game really yeah damo you know if he'd not made some of the saves he made maybe it, it would have been sooner that, that we'd got a lead so um he played really well and mace was as we remember him you know he crash crash bang and wallop and he was getting a lot of ice time and again i thought he, he played well Ed, one of the most competitive games against the former National League sides. Was it what you were expecting this evening from them? Uh, to be honest, no. They came out really fast. I thought it was, it was a good game. It gave us a good run, obviously, the first period being 2-0 down. But I think, as Will, Will said, the depth shone through and in the third period was all over them. And, uh, for, from a player's perspective, a better game to play in than, than a blowout. We've had, a, we've had two weekends where we've gone double figures. That looked like it was, uh, you know, certainly going into the into the, uh, the tail end of the second period. That was that was harder. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, you learn more from these games than the blowouts. And it's, these are much more fun to play in. These close games, 5-2, rather than 11-1 or whatever it was against Cardiff. And, uh, and from yourself, it's the first time we've interviewed you. Settled here now? Yeah, it's been great. Obviously, guys open, welcome me with open arms. It's really fun in the locker rooms, a light mood, good mood. Obviously, we got to Slava, I've worked with him before, so that was an easy fit in with GB, obviously. So, yeah, it's been good. So, Will, uh, tomorrow night, it's uh, another a tough one. It's a, it's a long journey, and Streatham gave a good performance when they came here. Um, we're looking at, of course, at a league table where, I guess, as we expected, the, the EPL sides are starting to pull away, aren't they? Yeah, it, it's showing, as people probably guessed, maybe a bit of a two-tier kind of league, but we saw it tonight, and as you say, last time Streatham were here, it, I think it was a 5-2 game then, we, we know that we can't show up and, and be complacent, because if we do, then, then we'll lose, it's as simple as that, so we've got to do the things we did right tonight and, and try and be consistent through the whole game and, and we should come away with the points. Yeah, and I think tonight special teams, I said it last week, but so important on the, the penalty kill and the power play. Yeah, I think we let a short-handed one in that you know it's, you always try and, and strive to to not do that, but it's you know it's a man advantage and that's what can happen. I think our power play was much better tonight. I think we got two or three. Um, something we've struggled on so far this year so um, it's good signs and obviously as we get further into the season things seem to be clicking Ed, last word from you tomorrow uh, sorry, not, not tomorrow next Saturday it's uh, Swindon uh, so they're going to be one of the teams that are going to be up there wanting the trophies It'll be a different contest Yeah, well to be honest I think the speed will be out tonight but they've got a lot more skilled players I've been winning a few games I've been seeing so yeah, it'll be a tougher much tougher Okay, contest. guys thanks for joining us get back in the locker room we'll see you tomorrow Cheers.